Turn Chapter 1, The Fateful Decision In the quaint town of Everwood, nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering pines, stood Everwood College. Among its students was a young man named John, known for his mischievous grin and penchant for pranks. With him were his loyal companions, Harry, Mike, and Jimmy, inseparable friends bound by laughter and camaraderie. As the college term drew to a close, thoughts turned to summer adventures. One evening, seated around a table in the college cafeteria, John proposed an idea that sent shivers down their spines. Let's go to death turn, John declared, his eyes glinting with excitement. The mere mention of death turn sent a chill through the air. It was a place whispered about in hushed tones, rumored to be haunted by restless spirits. Harry voiced their collective concern. Death turn? Are you out of your mind, John? That place is cursed. But John, ever the daredevil, waved off their worries with a grin. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? We'll make memories that'll last a lifetime. Despite their reservations, the allure of adventure and the bond of friendship swayed them. With reluctant nods, they agreed to embark on the journey to Death Turn. Chapter 2. Into the Unknown The following morning, armed with backpacks and a sense of trepidation, the group set out on their expedition. The road to Death Turn was winding and desolate, flanked by dense forests that seemed to whisper ancient secrets. As they ventured deeper into the heart of darkness, a foreboding mist descended, cloaking the world in a shroud of mystery. Unease settled upon them like a heavy fog, but John's bravado remained unshaken. This is it, boys, John proclaimed, his voice tinged with excitement. The adventure of a lifetime awaits. But as they approached Death Turn, an oppressive atmosphere descended upon them. The air grew thick with an otherworldly presence, and the silence was deafening. Suddenly, a disembodied voice pierced the stillness, chilling them to the bone. Who dares to tread upon this cursed land? The friends froze, their hearts hammering in their chests as they searched for the source of the voice. But there was no one to be seen, only the shadows dancing in the moonlight. Another voice echoed through the darkness, dripping with malice. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. Panic seized them, and they turned to flee, their footsteps echoing in the night. But the voices pursued them, haunting their every step with whispered threats of doom. Chapter 3. An Unbroken Pact Exhausted and trembling, they stumbled out of death turn, their minds reeling from the encounter. They collapsed onto the ground, gasping for breath, their faces pale with terror. We, we made it, Harry breathed, his voice barely a whisper, his words lost amidst the stifling silence. Mike nodded, his eyes wide with fear, the shadows dancing ominously around them. That was too close. We should never have come here. But as John's gaze turned back towards Death Turn, a fierce determination flickered in his eyes, a glimmer of curiosity amidst the darkness. No, he declared, his voice steady despite the tremor in his hands, his resolve unyielding. We can't just walk away. There's something about this place, something we need to uncover. The others exchanged hesitant glances, caught between their fear and their loyalty to their friend, but in the end, they knew there was no turning back. And so, with a silent vow and hearts heavy with apprehension, they made a pact to return to Death Turn, to unravel the mysteries that lay hidden in its shadowy depths. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the shadows of Death Turn held secrets darker than they could ever imagine. To be continued in Part 2.